So, day seven, halfway there. Awesome. Day seven of Fluoracil, 5%. Fluorouracil, 5%. Um, certainly, certainly things showing up. Um, I just put it on. I just took a shower, hot shower. The humidity was pretty low in my room. So if you're in a dry climate or if you're in um, up north where you got to run heaters all the time, especially a wood stove or something like that, a humidifier makes all the difference in the world to your skin and anything that, you, you know, I have guitars that are made of wood and they <laughs> sucks even more moisture out of them and makes it even worse. So day seven. Um, so it's number 13 of 28 applications, halfway there, almost halfway there. Uh, doesn't seem to be doing anything on my ears, doesn't seem to be doing anything on my upper lip or my chin. Um, I'm not putting it there, I think that's just chap lips. Uh, right there, up along, around here, like I thought it would. Um, over here one or two places I'm red right now um, I'm not sure if it's because it's hot in here <laughs> I uh, have an older person that I take care of so the place has to uh, be shorts and t-shirt weather inside even though it was, it was minus six when I woke up outside um, minus six people People choose to live here um, on purpose. I guess I'm one of them. Um, anyway, halfway there. Uh, this next week will be from all I've seen will be the hell week, um, and maybe a little bit after that, if if indeed because the medication's only supposed to work where there's problems, where the cells are replicating fast. Your cells are all always replicating, but your cells replicate fast. Uh, the ones that replicate fast are the cancer cells. Also, your hair follicles and things like that, which is when you take why when you take chemo, your hair falls out because it kills those cells. Um, it doesn't, you know, this cream doesn't affect any of that. I don't think it's that strong. I mean, it probably, maybe if you just kept rubbing it on your head, it'd be a different story, but. I don't think it affects it in that way. Um, certainly keep it away from your eyes. You're supposed to keep it away from your eyes and up in your nose. Um, although people are told to put it on their lips if they have problems on their lips. So I don't know how toxic, certainly you don't want to brush your teeth with it, but if you can put it on your lips, I don't know how toxic, toxic it really is. And the same um, medicine, fluorouracil, can be used intravenously to fight cancer. And, and it, all chemo has side effects. So uh, this cream seems to be pretty good at clearing up precancers and, and AKs on your face, and maybe more. Um, if you have a spot where you've cut and it's healing, it'll flare up there too because those cells are replicating. I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor. These are just things I've learned um, along the way. So, from people who know. So anyway, halfway there, uh, a humidifier, like I said, is a good investment, period, for dry places. If you have dry skin, for dry places, and if you're dealing with this uh, situation, we have to use fluorouracil or, or the like, um, because it, your skin's going to get really dry. It was really dry after my shower. I shaved with a regular razor this morning. Um, I don't know how much longer I can do that. We'll see how bad it gets along the side here. Um, here, around my muzzle, I don't see anything. Not yet, anyway. So, good luck if you're in the process of doing this. Um, I'll keep posting these every day and
maybe sometime whenever, like I did when it was time to start using this, uh, do some research, scare myself to death, and uh, eventually just do it because, you know, it's the right thing to do. Uh, there's a, a, nobody gets a pain-free life. It doesn't work that way. It's just how you deal with that pain. So there you go. That's my Zen for the day. Take care. Bye.